My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the Lenten season is a time of repentance. On this fourth Sunday, the Gospel taken from Luke 15 verses 1 to 32 through the story of the prodigal son presents us the sign of true repentance. The story or the character of the prodigal son is the character of a typical modern man. He values his freedom. He wants adventure, thrill, enjoyment, and pleasure in life. So he gets his share of the property and goes to a far off place to enjoy himself. But life is not just for enjoyment. Our wealth, our body cannot endure unlimited pleasure. So within no time, he squandered all his wealth and he was in trouble. That was worsened because of the famine in the land. He was so desperate that he wanted to look after pigs and eat pigs food. Even that was denied to him. However, in that misery, he had a great realization. First, the goodness of his father and the joy and comfort the people in his father's house are enjoying. So he said, I'll go back to my father, but with the disposition that I have sinned against God, against heaven, and against you. Yes, this disposition is the sign of true repentance. Our realization of our sinfulness and that our sin is against God and against our father, mother, brothers, sisters, fellow human beings. When he went back with this, he was embraced and reinstated. Same way, when we repent through the realization that our sinfulness is causing trouble to God and to our fellow human beings, we will truly repent. But this repentance has to continue. For this, we have to eat new food, new thoughts, and new works. That is given in today's first reading, taken from the book of Joshua 5, 9 to 12. When the people of Israel came to the promised land and were able to get the fruit of the land, the manna which they got from heaven stopped. So we need to stop the old food, the old manna, in order to eat the new manna and have a new life. This is possible when we spiritually put on Jesus Christ as our new cloth, as suggested by St. Paul in today's second reading, taken from 2 Corinthians verse 5, 17 to 21. So, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, true repentance comes from the realization that our sin is sin against God and our neighbor, and that we start doing new things and put on Christ in our life, and in that way, our repentance will be complete and we will enjoy the fullness of life. Let us pray for one another for this grace on this Sunday. God bless.